We're standing here at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich and behind me is the Mars show home and it's a mock-up of what we think astronauts may actually be living in when they go, perhaps in 20 or 30 years' time. It's really exciting to have Stephen Petranek here. He's written about how we might go to Mars. He's advised on National Geographic's TV series, Mars. I think it would be the greatest, most amazing place to go in the entire universe. And we have it's an amazing series because it does something that television has never done before, which it combines a dramatic series with your traditional documentary. You'll come away from each show knowing so much more about Mars and so much more about how we're going to get there and how we're going to live there. National Geographic has found out through a survey that about 25% of the people who are asked if they want to go to Mars actually do want to go to Mars. They must have a tremendous sense of adventure and a spirit of getting off this planet. The home is really robustly built. It's got bricks made of Martian soil to protect the interior from the very harsh Martian environment. You've got places to sleep. You've got cooking facilities, TV screens, books, also virtual reality, so you could perhaps take a VR holiday back home on Earth. We get a lot of young visitors here to the observatory. And of course, those kids, they are exactly the right generation who could be the first people to set foot on Mars. So perhaps the first Martian astronaut could be visiting Greenwich over the next week and seeing the Martian show home here. Members of the public can come and enjoy our Mars show home. Um, it's going to be um, on exhibit up until the 16th of November. And to find out more about Mars, tune into our new mini-series this Sunday at 9pm on National Geographic.